Well, welcome to Lauritz and Gardens. I'm here today to talk about, of all things, our parking lot. Uh, Lauritz and Gardens is 100 acres of, in the riverfront hills here near downtown Omaha. And within the 100 acres, we have about 20 different garden spaces. And part of what we're, we do here at Lauritz and Gardens is we not only have beautiful botanical displays, but we also think about the place as a natural area. It's an urban oasis within uh, the city of Omaha. So part of what we're trying to do here is understand the biology of the place. We've got, uh, we're doing bird and butterfly and bee surveys so that we might manage the garden uh, for the benefit of pollinators and wildlife. And one of the most remarkable things we found out is that some of the highest levels of biodiversity is right here in our parking lot. But uh, it doesn't take too long to understand why that might be the case. This is, uh, the parking lot was designed, first of all, to screen cars. We have about 600 parking spaces here, but you wouldn't know it because we have lots of plantings of uh, vegetation strips throughout the, the parking area. Um, but in addition, the, the parking lot is also designed to catch and filter rainwater as it comes off. And so water flows into a series of ponds that are filled with vegetation that helps cleanse the water as it comes off. But the strips of vegetation planted throughout this area feature native plants. We have bur oak and sumac and redbud, a lot of native woodies, plus prairie wildflowers uh, and grasses. And so we just there's a lot of variety of, of plant material in here. And it, it's nice because it creates a, a Midwest sense of place, which we appreciate, but it also provides uh, incredible habitat for wildlife. And, and if you know about uh, wildlife management, greater diversity around edges. So we have a lot of edges here, uh, and we have water and we have stonework and all the kinds of things that, that benefit a variety of wildlife. So there are some uh, birds, for instance, that we almost only see out here in the parking garden. And we have certain butterflies that uh, we've only found out here in the parking lot. So it, it goes to show that you could take a space that maybe is just sort of, uh, just has some basic work to do for you in, in the landscape. But if you're creative and, and you plant it in an in intentional way, uh, you can, can create welcoming habitat for people as well as, as for wildlife. And we don't use strictly natives here. Uh, we have lots of non-native things that are, are great pollinator plants as well. So it's, it's a nice mix. But, and it also has to be beautiful because we're a botanical garden. So we try and have uh, multi-season of interest here in terms of things that bloom in the spring all the way to things that have wonderful fall color. Uh, so we do want you to go into the visitor center and into the, the 100 acres and enjoy the rest of the garden. But uh, this is a place where you can also, uh, if you keep your eyes open, you can discover some really wonderful aspects of, of uh, Nebraska and uh, our, our native wildlife.